Disney is ditching Netflix to launch its own streaming service. The company announced plans to end its distribution agreement with Netflix and launch its own streaming service sometime in 2019. Let's dig into why. Disney invested $1 billion into BAMTech last year, giving it a 33% minority stake. Then this week, Disney announced an additional $1.58 billion investment and now owns 75% of the company that will power its shift into streaming. BAMTech, who powers streaming for MLB, HBO Now, NHL, WWE, and now Disney and ESPN's upcoming streaming services, is valued at $3.75 billion following Disney's new investment. BAMTech spun out of MLB's digital media business to become its own company in August 2015. The business has since grown beyond being a streaming technology just for baseball. So basically, instead of building their own in-house platform, Disney invested heavily in technology tested on other media properties first that they can then use to build their own subscription service. Disney doing standalone streaming is huge news, but it's not the first time the company has dabbled with digital delivery of its content. It has its own Disney Movies Anywhere app and dipped its toe into the streaming business with its UK-based subscription video platform, Disney Life, back in 2015. But Disney's deal to own the infrastructure player behind its next big investment in streaming is a smart move. While its flagship Disney and Pixar movies will bring in subscribers, Disney has already begun the development process at the Disney Channel and Studio to create original TV shows and movies that will be made exclusive to the new service. Essentially, Disney is mimicking the Netflix model here, with an attempt to create must-see shows and films that you can't find anywhere else. And if you're wondering why Marvel and Star Wars weren't mentioned in Disney's upcoming streaming service, that is because they might be getting their own branded services instead. The decision has not yet been set in stone, but with BAM Tech on the back end, Disney has the technical capability to make that happen. If Disney wanted to go the route of standalone streaming services for all its brands, it has more than enough content to do it. There are TV shows like ABC's Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Inhumans, Freeform's Cloak and Dagger and New Warriors, Disney's XD's Star Wars Rebels, online content plus all the movies and more when all these licensing deals expire. According to Disney CEO Bob Iger, the company has no plans to pull its Marvel TV shows from Netflix, adding that Disney and Netflix have a great relationship. He also said that the possibility still exists that Disney will license other titles to Netflix down the road. 